three teams in the autumn test. You've got Argentina, Australia and Georgia. I'm kind of guessing that in some ways they're very similar. They'll, they'll come straight at you and they'll be relentless. In terms of your defensive duties as a seven, what what's the trick of playing against teams like like Georgia and Argentina who, who hit up all the time? Um, yeah, I think it's important. Obviously, there's a massive uh, emphasis in Scotland about tackling low, so we need to tackle low and then second player in, just slow that ball down. Um, those big ball carriers don't like getting chopped and put to the ground. And then if we can slow that ball down, then that'll obviously uh, help our line speed off the next phase. Argentina have added quite a bit of width to their game as well. How much of a threat does that make them? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously now they're playing in that rugby championship uh, every year. It makes them they're a very dangerous team and they're competing against the best teams in the world. So, uh, yeah, they'll come here and uh, present a massive, uh, massive test for us. It's going to be difficult for a lot of Scots who are at a packed Murrayfield for that game to forget about the, the World Cup. Is that something that, that, that the team will take in or is, is that history and it's, it's a new game? Um, I mean, I think it's obviously not, not forgotten. I mean, I don't think it will ever be forgotten by fans and stuff. But I mean, it's one of those things. It's one of those things in the sport. You just got to get over it and uh, just hopefully uh, get them this time around. You've talked about defensively what what the seven does against teams like Argentina and, and Georgia. But what about offensively? Because that's one of the perhaps the main differences with Scotland in the last few years is when Scotland have the ball, they're starting to produce the good. So, how pleasing? Because you're a particular kind of seven, I think you're a guy that likes to, to find the space and, and, and have a go. How, how good is it to have that philosophy behind you? Yeah, I think it's like massively important now with obviously all both the Scottish teams, Edinburgh and Glasgow and Scotland, we, we're all showing that we can attack now and score a lot of tries compared to maybe a Scotland of five, six years ago. Um, we score, we do score a lot of tries, like historically obviously we weren't known for scoring tries, but now our attacks develop so much it's crucial for the seven to be a link player with the backs. Um, Look for those little offloads, um, but yeah, anything I can, anything I can bring offensively, uh, hopefully will help us. John Hardy and you are both in the in the squad. What do you what do you learn from each other? Um, well, definitely Edinburgh. It's great to have them there. It's so competitive every week. You know, we none of us know who's going to get picked each week, and uh, there's a lot of rotation at Edinburgh now with the the squad we've got. We've got a lot of a uh, lot of good back rowers, and um, yeah, just eat, pushing each other every week competitively and. Uh, yeah, it brings the best out of both of us. But that that must be that must be good because what you want you want to have when the coach must love that because it's competition for places and it must it must make a difference to the, the intensity of training. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, like no one, no one I think in our squad can like rest on their laurels sort of thing. I mean, everyone's got a got another player in that position who wants a jersey, and so it's even in trainings today. You know, it's pushing each other and everyone wants to start. Um, so yeah, there's great competition for places and obviously. With me and Hards in the seven jersey, that's great. Up towards the line, Fraser needs to get it back now, pops it up into Fraser, so it gets over. How good is it to have a mix, if you like, of, of, of ages and experience? Yeah, I think it's obviously massively important to have that mix, you know, of, of youth and then obviously you've got the experience of um, of Fordy and Dicko and uh, even Gordy Reid now is pretty experienced in that Scotland jersey. So yeah, I think it's great to have that. It's great to have that mix. And um, yeah, Zander's been playing real well from the stuff I've seen at Glasgow. So I think he'll cope in these tests um, at tight head. So yeah, I think he's been he's been going obviously really well. But yeah, real real good um, to have that experience of Fordy and Dicko as well. I think Fordy's on 99. So hopefully he can uh, get that cap. You know what it can be like when there's a lot. Of a noise here at, at Murrayfield. You're going to have that for the, you know, particularly for Australia and Argentina. And hopefully, Georgia and a, a tighter ground. It's going to be good. How much of a, a difference can that make to to players when you have that kind of vocal backing? Oh, it makes a massive difference. I mean, even even the Edinburgh game at the weekend, going from three and a half thousand to five and a half thousand, that two and a half thousand fans makes a massive difference. Especially if you're playing an attractive brand of rugby like Scotland are doing at the moment, like Edinburgh are doing at the moment, and Glasgow. It makes a, makes a huge difference to fans really want to get behind you and they love seeing try so yeah it makes a massive difference.